So we're going to join in uh, another match that's in action or in uh, progress at the moment. It is Andrea Mangucci versus Ivan Flock. We're going to join match, no, game number three, I should say, and see how Esper Doom Foretold is doing against Demir Rogues. I believe when Andrea's playing it, it is uh, legally changed to Esperoni, right? Esperoni. <laughs> you got to say it like he would. You got to oh, give course. the oomph there. Corey, before you carry on there, my friend, I just want to point out that Ivan's clock is at 53 seconds, so he's going to have to get this game done ASAP. But there is an army of Pegasus in the way. Wow. Oh, we are jumping right into it here. I don't think... <sighs> Wow. Okay, I need to I need to grasp this game here. We just jumped in. This is this must have been one heck of a match that we got to this point. I'm, I would say so. As we see, just so many blockers now uh, being tendered here, gonna gain a lot of life there. Not risking that Archon of Sun's Grace in the block, but certainly gonna jump in the way of one of these soaring thought thieves. I mean, depending on the time, um, with. Depending on the time here, I don't think, or depending on Andrea's deck size, I should say, I don't think it's truly possible that Yvonne can win in time with the two Elspeth's Nightmare about to pick away some counter spells. And I mean, the one thing is even when you attack from the Demir Rogue side, you have those triggers and stuff, and those triggers do take up a little bit of time. Yeah. Um, plus we have Dance of the Mans coming back, and I assume Andrea can just pick like, you know, three Doom Foretolds or something. He's been flipping over his entire um, library here, so I'm guessing he has some juicy targets, but ugh. Ugh! <laughs> That's so unlucky. There's, like, nothing. No, there's not. So Dance of the Mans can bring back the Omen One of the Sun, omen. but that's about it, yeah. Wow. Got the Golden unlucky. Egg. Uh, Treacherous Blessing would create another Pegasus. You know, at this point, wow. Andre Mangucci just has to sit back and, you know, hold up the fort, as it were. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I was, I was saying that it's going to be really tough for Yvonne to win, anticipating that there would be some good targets for Dance of the Mans, but without that, yeah, this is a, this is a lot trickier what you do here. Hmm. Treacherous Blessing could be an option, just to try and find some other cards, cheap interaction. Yeah, I wonder if you start with Golden Egg and then play Treacherous Blessing, you don't get the token? Are we just doing this for Omen? Looks like it. <laughs> or not. We doing it? Wow. We're that doing it. That is so it. unlucky. All now right. we do see Kling on the other side, so maybe just all the enchantments have been uh, picked apart throughout yep. this match, but... I'd imagine so, as... Mm -hmm. uh, we now have a little bit of extra life, some extra blockers. Oh. Drown in the lock off the top. Okay, I don't think that's enough for lethal this turn, but that does shut off the lifelink from the 2-2 mm -hmm. Pegasus. Now you gotta attack with everything. You gotta attack fast. You gotta Yvonne. swing. Yeah, you gotta swing. Just click that button and go. Soaring Thought Thief working on that graveyard once again, working on that library. Wow. Blocker's gonna jump in the way here. It's gonna go down to three. Okay, but absolutely nothing else that Avon has. You know, with with a little bit extra time, you can do some cling stuff here. But you know, with the way the clock is, you just don't have time. Just but don't touch all... it. Yeah, just swing. Just you just gotta swing. Thief, just one of them has to connect here. And you all can't right. cast too many spells from Andrea's side because of the treacherous blessing. Yvonne might get this all as long as the triggers don't take away enough time on his clock. 11 seconds left on Flock's clock. Ooh, we, we can play the food and we can eat the food. We're up to th six. That doesn't help, though. No, we're not even because of treacherous blessing. Yeah, I mean, you can sack a golden egg to go up to five, but you can't sack both of them to, you know, uh, get out of range here. Oh my goodness, what a close matchup. Wow. Flock's clock has a nice ring to it, by the way. It sure does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there are the two copies of Cling to Dust. It's not enough, though. It's only three life. Yeah, you can only play one more spell. I mean, sack the egg, and you can do a little bit more. I, I think this 100% comes down to if the clock 
d- of Avon Flox does not go to zero, Avon will win this game. Yeah. What an absolute rip off the top, finding that Drown in the Lock, killing that Pegasus. You know Avon is just smashing that space bar right now. Just attack, 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 attack. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Yep. So cling to dust here. Andrea Maguchi still with a healthy eight minutes on the clock. Just going to do something. Mm-hmm. Down to one. Negate. Negates it. Okay. Nine seconds. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. I don't know. Just These swing. triggers take a little bit of time. Eight. Just seven. swing. Oh my he's god. He's got oh my it. God. Oh my goodness. That's so close. He's got it. There oh you go. Yvonne Clark. Yvonne Clark beat the flock. <laughs> Yvonne, Yvonne Clark, Clark yeah. beating the clock to get that victory there against Andre Mangucci. Man, what a nail biter.